Hey guys, it's Zaylee, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how I use green screen with Zoom, right? So zoom.us is a great platform for either doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, for doing group coaching, for doing webinars. It's an amazing platform, right? So I'm going to show you a, tr a few tricks <laughs> using Zoom. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I get a lot of questions about this. I'm actually using the feature in Zoom called green screen. Green screen is pretty cool because I get to choose what background or backdrop that I'm using to create content for you guys. So you guys know that I'm a visual content creation coach and I actually teach people how to create bomb videos and visuals just to stand out in the online platform. You know, it's pretty saturated and there's just a lot going on and you want to stand out in a specific way, right? So I'm filming this video from my computer actually. <laughs> so I just got done Done doing an awesome webinar and I just decided well why not share that with you guys on here right so what I actually did is I created a background inside of Canva and I'll be showing you how I did that and then I actually used this material that I really love called Poplin for my backdrop and so I imported that picture that I created in Canva and Canva is free and Poplin is like 250 a yard at your local beauty supply store the reason why I use Poplin is because it's wrinkle free, <laughs> right? So you can put it up and it can look beautiful like just as it was folded up or crumpled up. Now it's not gonna be awesomely like neat, like it doesn't look like it, it was just pressed or something, but it's good for, it doesn't look like silk. You know when you use silk, you get that, uh, you see those wrinkles? No, Poplin is a bit different. Definitely check out my blog at zillybarclay.com to see more tips about uh, using Poplin or using or colors you should definitely have for your backdrop and how you can use your phone to create amazing videos. I have awesome content about that on the blog. So that's zillybarclay.com and I'll link that down below. Definitely, definitely think about getting some poplin, get different colors, and definitely get your branding color. So yellow is my branding color. It's the color that I just love. Like, I really love my yellow. I can't lie. And if you've been following me on Instagram or if you visited my website, you know that I take pride in using that color. It's how I really stand out. It's how I attract people. Using a specific color throughout your branding is just a great thing to do because it connects you to different people. It gives them a mood, a feeling like, you know, yellow is a happy color. And when they see it, it just, you know, makes them smile. <laughs> so definitely using Poplin is awesome. And I'll also show you guys how I import my background <laughs> into Zoom and my green screens. So Zoom is amazing because you can also record your screen, which is how I'm showing you this tutorial. So what you're going to do is you're going to head into Zoom, you're going to head into preferences, and you're going to head into video background, right? Hey there. <laughs> so you'd see that they say a solid color video background is required and green is preferred. I tried this with yellow, but definitely get green. So get you a green um, background. So if I click none, you'll actually see my background. So it is green, right? And so when I click on that yellow, my background turns yellow. Now I created this background in Canva, but I'll be showing you that in a minute, right? So they, it definitely comes with default backgrounds. Those definitely did not mesh with what I was trying to do. I tried doing the office background, but I didn't have time to look for one that I liked. So definitely I did my solid color and everyone in my workshop tonight was asking about it. So I just decided to record a quick video to help you guys, right? So I know I'm up close to you, but if I go back a little bit, this is what you'll see. So that's how you do your green screen inside of Zoom. It's an amazing, amazing feature that Zoom added. I think they added this a while ago, but if you are looking into just not having your background all showing, um, it's a great idea, right? <laughs> so I'm definitely going to keep my yellow because I enjoyed having it. And it's just more solid than having a yellow background itself, which I usually use, right? So um, if you look into Canva, I actually used, so I created a document in Canva that was pretty much blank. And then what I did was 
I downloaded it to my computer. And after I did that, I got into Zoom, back into preferences, and I actually uploaded. So you'll see add image here. So I just added an image. So if you see add image, you'll open it up and you'll be able to add whatever. Um, kind of like if I chose this image, I'd be able to add that there. And yeah, although I'm back there, but that's pretty cool. Get what I'm saying? So I look forward to seeing what you do with your green screen on Zoom. I love my yellow. I look forward to see what you do with your green screen on Zoom. Definitely let me know if you learned something new here. Stay tuned uh, to this channel if you want to learn more about just enhancing your online presence and just attracting people that are genuinely connected to what you have to say, what you have to share, and things like that. Visuals just connect your brain, like how smart you are to the way that you look right so show up and show out for your new audience be sure to subscribe like and share this video if you feel like anyone else definitely needs tips about this like why not girl share <laughs> i'll talk to you guys soon take care love you